Let's get into XCOM River Valley. All right, great. Enjoy. Enemy Unknown, of course. And <laughs> XCOM Enemy Unknown. Yes. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the footage. Welcome to San Diego Comic-Con. My name is Pete Murray. I'm an associate producer of Fraxis Games. We're the studio developing XCOM Enemy Unknown. This is a game where you, as the commander of a secret military organization, have Earth's best scientists and soldiers working for you as you're fighting off uh, an alien invasion. Here we're showing you XCOM's base. This is what we affectionately refer to as the ant farm. It's got a lot of different components to it, from the barracks where your soldiers work, to alien containment, to workshops, and this satellite uplink, uh, which is key for monitoring threats around the world. So, in XCOM, this base responds to the way you build it. Uh, as you build different modules, uh, you expand XCOM's capability as an organization. This is also where you're going to do the behind the scenes preparation for your field work getting your soldiers ready to go, uh, queuing up engineering projects, uh, generally getting ready for the next fight. We're gonna go to the research labs now and see what our scientists are working on. Looks like we've got an alien interrogation going on. This means our soldiers recovered an alien from the field alive. Uh, in this case, it's a floater. Floater's very fast, aggressive alien. Uh, we're gonna find out what he knows. Our scientists will be able to take the information they get from the floater and pass that information to engineering to use to build better equipment for our troops in the field. Uh, XCOM, you've got a bunch of ships working for you, in this case, interceptors. Everything in the game is configurable and customizable, so you can change the loadout on your troops or your aircraft or what have you. But as soon as you're ready to uh, continue and help defend Earth, you're always gonna return to mission control and wait for the next threat to come up. And in this case, we didn't have to wait long Looks like we've got a small scout moving over the uh, continental United States. We're going to have to send an interceptor out to take it down. Raven 1's ready to go. We're going to send it out. So now we're seeing that our fighter only has a limited amount of time in order to intercept that craft. We were able to shoot it down, so the next step is to send our uh, troops out to the field, investigate the crash site, recover any artifacts that they can, fight off any of the aliens that might have survived that crash. These soldiers have teched up a little bit. They've got some laser weapons and some carapace armor that's gonna help protect them in the field. We're gonna start with our heavy weapons specialist. He's equipped with a heavy laser and a rocket launcher. And during your soldier's turn, they can do one of two things. They can move and take an action, or they can move really far. Um, now we've got our assault soldier with, her, with his scatter laser. He's gonna come up and he's gonna take cover here. He's also gonna use the combat stim. That's gonna give him a buff that's gonna make him a lot stronger. Uh, maybe give him an edge in the fight up here. We've got our support soldier. That's a combination uh, medic and jack of all trades class of soldier. Uh, she's going to come up. She's going to take cover here. She's going to help uh, expand our front. Oh, we've made contact. We've got more floaters here. Again, floater, very fast, very aggressive alien. Um, it's centered around mobility on the battlefield, and it's always going to be trying to look for an angle in order to uh, pick off a soldier who's off by themselves and maybe wounded. So we're really going to have to watch our flanks and our rear in this case. Our sniper's going to come up, and he's going to take cover behind this rock here. So our heavy weapons specialist got hit, uh, wounded, but not out of the action yet. Oh. That, that floater just used boost. Boost means he's gonna shoot up and land anywhere on the battlefield. Now he's behind our troops. We're in real trouble. We're flanked right now. Now our heavy here, he has an ability called, uh, <clears throat> he has an ability called holographic targeting. That's gonna mean, since he took a shot at that floater, it's easier for his teammates to hit the floater. So now we're gonna leave it up to our sniper here to finish that floater off. So those two soldiers working together took out the floater, they took out the threat that was in our backfield, we're ready to move on. 
Now our support soldier, she's got a smoke grenade. She's gonna throw that out. That's gonna provide some instant cover on the battlefield. And now our assault soldier can run up and he can take advantage of that cover to take a shot using his run and gun ability. So that floater was on overwatch, took a shot at our assault soldier, but didn't hit him. We got lucky in that case. That smoke really made the difference. Scratch two aliens. We're doing really well right now. And our sniper comes through again. We've taken out that first group of floaters, ready to continue. Now there's still two of them over here. They're calling for backup. Uh, they're not stupid, they're aggressive, but they're not dumb. They're gonna get a better position, maybe try to ambush our guys. So smoke didn't help our assault soldier in this case. They're wounded now. So we've got two wounded soldiers, but we've taken out a bunch of aliens. We'll have our assault soldier fall back. And he's wily. So even though those, uh, those floaters are on overwatch, they can't hit him. And now we're gonna have uh, him take a shot at that guy hovering up there. Low probability shot, but we were still able to get it off. We got lucky in that case. And here we see our support soldier acting as a medic, helping to heal up our assault soldier who's wounded. And our sniper's gonna come up, is gonna earn his paycheck for today. So we've taken out the aliens that were outside of that craft. We're ready to go into the crashed UFO and see what waits for us inside. In this case, it's a mysterious new alien. So XCOM Enemy Unknown is going to be released on October 9th in the US, October 12th internationally for Xbox 360, PS3, and PC. Thanks for tuning in and stay tuned.